Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do so than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, Sarah Caper. You're back here with another lesson from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation Ag in the Classroom program. Uh, we've had some fun this month. We between have. maple syrup and chocolate. Uh, mm -hmm. We've been in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Made some plastic. What are we doing here? We've got uh, some water. Are we doing something with boats, perhaps? Okay, I don't want to overlook the month of February and President's birthday. That's true. Right? You're right about that. So um, our favorite president in Illinois, of course, is Abe Lincoln, our 16th president. And I think, I don't know, but I don't know if everybody knows that he was the only president to hold a patent. Oh, really? The only one. Yes, yes. Now, this patent obviously is not well known because it wasn't used mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to our knowledge it was never used but um, something very interesting about him he was a well-rounded -round, guy but he um, he had this this love for designing things wow so yeah so he was our 16th president he was an inventor he was a, a um, wonderful wonderful president but let's take it back a little bit when you know him as a kid or as a young adult um, what do we know him for when it comes to our rivers and waterways? Oh, now you're catching me. He here. spent a lot of time on boats, oh, right? Okay. On the flat boats, down, up and down our rivers. That's right. And what he noticed was um, that oftentimes when a boat would hit a sandy bar, Mm -hmm. There's a look at, at the actual invention, and you can see right on the bottom of that deck, there are billows hanging down at the bottom. They're kind of lighter colored. Oh, interesting. And as those boats would hit a sandy shoal um, and get stuck or potentially stuck, they could inflate these billows, which would lift the boat up just enough to get it over wow. and, or around. So um, I'm not sure why it didn't catch on or why it wasn't used, but um, that was something that he was known for doing and not something that, that wasn't easy, I'm sure. You know, mm -hmm. he carved that whole um, sculpture out of wood by himself and yeah, wow, that's, that's where cool. it needs to go. That's a so, really cool picture to see. Yeah, pretty cool. So along with that, we like to talk to kids about his adventures on the water and on these flat boats. And so what you can do with your kids, and this can be a great STEM activity because uh, STEM is all about trying something. And if it fails, mm -hmm. trying again. So take some foil that's around the house. And if you'd like to tear off a piece, I've made a flat boat model, but you can make any type of model you can out of or want to. Take them in the bathtub too if you want to oh, or yeah. in a swimming pool. Family competition. Family competition. And first of all, make sure it can float and that it doesn't have any holes or cracks in it. And then uh, break out some pennies. Why would I choose pennies? Well, I think there's yeah, a certain president on there, I think there's there, right? a certain president on there. Um, I've used soybeans and corn before this too, but we want to see now how much weight our boats can hold. And so you can start by dropping pennies into your boat because remember a lot of those boats were carrying agricultural products grains and such and so they had to carry a lot of weight and so once you get your boat to the way you like it and it floats start filling up with pennies see how many pennies you can make at a competition it takes before your boat hits the bottom. I think my boat's container. already hitting the bottom. It's uh, a little well, bit Well, maybe just a little bit. That's well, still floating still pretty floating freely, yeah. but you can do that. Um, we need some deeper water in this river. You need <laughs> and I have a couple of great books that are fairly new that I think you'd really enjoy um, learning about Abraham Lincoln and his many talents. And we'll be sure and link those on the website. Okay, your boat's still, still floating here. Yeah. I think I just made mine a little bit big for the, the body of water. Probably. That's you can okay, have a right? body of water. But okay. that's that's the fun in it. And then redesigning to see if you can change your boat a little bit to see if it will hold as many pennies. It's still floating. Still floating. Most all yeah, those pennies. It's a great right? design right there. Yours is, yeah. <laughs> mine, I think I just need a little deeper water there. Maybe. 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 A extra time. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. You know, one time I was in high school, or I was in middle school, and at the local pool, we won the duct tape cardboard box book. Oh, so, fun. You know, I'm not going to let this so, define me. No, no, right. don't let that define you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, it's uh, February, of course, and with President's Day, this is a great lesson with Abe Lincoln, a uh, Illinois hero and uh, 16th president. If you want to learn more about this lesson, get lesson plans and uh, the book recommendations, be sure to visit our website, wci.com slash ag in the classroom.